One of the major advantages of using Safari browser is that it is usually extremely battery friendly, which means you can get longest hours of usage when using your MacBook outside. This is also the main reason I would use Safari at all. Although my favorite browser is still Firefox because of the better extensions support. With the Firefox 84 released, Firefox is now running natively on Apple Silicon and the performance is quite impressive compared to the previous versions. But people are still concerned about the battery life compared to using Safari. So today I'm going to make a quick test between the two browsers to see how much impact on battery consumption if you decided to switch to Firefox. To measure the battery usage, I'm going to use this app called Battery Health 2 as it shows how much battery left in our MacBook in numbers. I understand this is not the most accurate way to measure power consumption, but for our purpose, I think it is giving us uh, valuable results. First, I found this script on Reddit. Basically, it is a fork version of the battery test from notebookcheck.com. When opened, the browser would automatically open another website every 30 seconds. I made some adjustments according to my network environment. For comparison, I also set the Firefox to run using Rosetta to see how much difference can we expect when the browser is running natively on M1 chip. After running this script on each browser several times, the average power consumption of each browser is as shown here. To my surprise, the Firefox is performing so well in terms of battery consumption, it is matching Safari in this test, sometimes even outperforms Safari. If opened using Rosetta, the browser is using 24% more battery, but still it is not far from Safari's power consumption. Then I realized maybe this is not how most people use their browsers. Therefore, I ran another test. This time I put each browser to play a YouTube video for half an hour. And we can see the result here. When playing video, Safari is showing its huge advantage consuming 32% less energy compared to Firefox. Interestingly, Firefox running natively on M1 chip is consuming the same amount of power compared to it running using Rosetta here. So in conclusion, if you are simply browsing websites and occasionally watch YouTube videos, the latest version of Firefox should be good enough in terms of battery usage. M1 MacBooks can easily last a whole day if you are not pushing it. But if you are mainly using your browser for video playback, I would suggest using Safari instead. Again, this is not an accurate test. Your usage could be very different from mine, so your results could be vastly different as well. Hope you find this video useful anyway. Thank you for watching.